You can right click on your desktop, go to properties, and then settings, advanced. You really want to make sure um, that you, I don't think you have to change that, but I think you have to come in here and change, uh, I think this, this doesn't automatically switch to whatever you have it in when we set it in the, with reforce. So I think you have to come here and set this to the maximum. Okay. And then the next thing would be the catalyst control center options or your video um, card options. Uh, I don't have a NVIDIA card. I used to have one, but right now I have an ATI. So I can show you how to set things up with ATI for CS 1.6. Um, if you have an NVIDIA card, it's pretty much the same basic um, options, but uh, you know, you can, if you're not sure, you can um, just Google it or ask, ask someone you know that already knows about you know, this kind of stuff. Uh, or you can go on Godfrag and, and search the hardware forums or ask on there. But uh, right now I'm going to show you with um, an ATI card, if you have an ATI card. Uh, these are all the settings that I, that I use for 1.6, and all of them have a reason. Um, I guess they're not so nice, I'll go over that. Um, application settings for anti-aliasing, you want to use that because it just looks really blurry with um, with it on. Yeah, it, just, it just looks really blurry. Um, and also another thing, you don't want to use a high resolution in Counter-Strike just because of the way the game is. It's an older game, it runs a lot better in lower resolution, like 640 by 480 is the recommended one, If you have, especially if you have a CRT. If, if you have an LCD, you can get away with, I think, 8.6. I haven't used one, but from what I hear, my friends tell me, you can get away with 8.6, but some of them use even like higher with LCD. So. But it definitely affects the gameplay and everything, so if you do have a CRT, um, it, I would definitely recommend to be using a 640 resolution again. Um, and then antistropic filtering, I like it, but it makes it hard to see through smoke, so I have that off. Um, Catalyst AI, I have that off. What they say it does is give kind of a more FPS with little to zero um, quality loss, but you don't really need that for Counter-Strike. Um, for newer games though, it's almost required, and some of them do require it. Like they don't actually, they don't even, um, they don't even perform properly. Like there's like weird artifacts and, and weird things going on with the graphics if you don't have it on for newer games. But CS, you don't need it for CS. So I have that off, um, just to get maximum image quality. Uh, since it's an old game, it doesn't really look good anyway. I mean, you know, it doesn't look bad, but. And then, uh, you know, the detail, I have that on max. Um, just because I have a good computer. I mean, if you have a really bad computer and you can't run Counter-Strike with good FPS, you can set it to, to low, you know, for high performance, but I don't need that. Um, most people shouldn't need it. Uh, vertical refresh. This one is really important. You need to have it always off. Pretty much for any 3D game, you want to have it always off. But um, newer games, you can put it on. It kind of just it can affect the um, well. It can, it can affect a lot of different things actually, but mainly it kind of causes a little bit of a delay in like to sync. I'm not gonna go over the details, but yeah, you can look it up. Um, for CS, it's important to have it always off. Um, Anti-aliasing, adaptive anti-aliasing. I have that on. Um, again, that's just like quality thing. It's not. It doesn't really. It's not the same as, as regular anti-aliasing. It doesn't make anything blurry or just. It makes some. Um, some like kind of um, small things like uh, I'm not gonna explain, it, but yeah, you can have that on. Um, and then triple buffering is just something that takes up more um, video memory, so have that off. But um, it's something that if you're gonna turn on vertical refresh for uh, like a newer game or something, then you're gonna want that on. Um, and that's about it for the, uh, the catalyst settings. Everything else um, you can just set to you know whatever you like. I mean, there's some other videos that kind of go over that stuff more. Uh, most of those are just preference, but you know these some of these are pretty important to have, especially the vertical refresh. You want to have that off. Okay, the next thing would be um, your actual in-game Counter-Strike settings. Uh, what you want to do is you want to go to whatever uh, folder that you have it, uh, Steam or Counter-Strike installed into. Uh, for me, I installed into games, set program files, and then you go Steam, Steam Apps, uh, whatever your account name is, and Counter-Strike and the C-Strike. Uh, the most, the important file is going to be the userconfig.cfg. Um, if you don't have like the ends of the like .txt or .icon.cfg, if you don't have those showing, um, what you want to do is go to Tools, Folder Options, View. Uh, you probably want to get that, select that, I think it's default on that, you want to select that just for other things I'll show you later. And then hide extensions for known file types, that's the one you want to uncheck. Uh, it's default checked, so... And then hit OK. Um, once you have that, you can just right click, go new, let me do it here, so you can see it, new, and then just a new text document, and then you just edit it to say user, user config .cfg, and then hit enter, except for me it won't let me, because I have, and yeah, well, you'll get this pop up, but uh, yeah, for me, it won't let me start to have one. Um, but that's what you do to get it. And then um, I'll include all of my um, custom uh, configuration files. Uh, I'll provide a link for it, but basically, what you want to have I mean, I have a ton of custom stuff here, but the important stuff is your rates. You need The reason why you have to have these in music config.cfg is because the game will override them with defaults if you don't uh, every time you open up CS. Also, um, 
different servers set them automatically, set your rates automatically, so you're gonna have to either, um, well, I mean, you, yeah, you're gonna have to type it in manually every time if you don't have a user config. If you have a user config, um, there's a couple different things you can do. You can either close Counter-Strike, reopen it, and it'll execute the user config with all your um, rates and everything, uh, or you can, I have an alias um, up here. I made an alias where I just type in the console UC and hit enter, and it, it executes uh, this command. This is the command to execute the user config from the game. Um, okay, and then these are these are the important things that you want to have. But I'm not going to go over all of the different files. Um, I have like a README with kind of the basic what they do, but I'll include all of my custom uh, configuration files. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all you need about that. With that, um, I'm not going to go over it too much, uh, especially in this video. I'll do some more videos later with uh, more in-game stuff and about the different maps and teamwork and whatnot. Um, but since I did explain how to disable acceleration, um, something you're going to want to do is get a new sensitivity now. you got to find, if you had acceleration on before, um, you're going to want to go into deathmatches and aim maps, um, because those are great for um, finding sensitivity as well as training your aim and stuff. So you're going to want to go into those um, a lot. Uh, and I would recommend that you start off at a higher sensitivity. I think the highest that I've heard of a pro using is like 4.2. Uh, and that's with acceleration off. Uh, so if you would start off with something like 4.2 and then just gradually lower it and lower it, that's what I would recommend until you find something where you can just like automatically just snap to the people's heads uh, and it comes really naturally. You don't have to like concentrate on like, um, you know, you don't overshoot their head or, or undershoot it, etc. It just comes really natural and that's what you want to get. The last thing here is a program that, uh, like, it's pretty much a chat program um, that the, com the competitive CS community uses to um, just network, really. Um, you can't really stick to the Steam. I mean, you can, but it's definitely harder that way. It's a lot easier to use RC and most people use it. Um, the vast majority of people. Um, it's how you find scrims, uh, find ringers, um, just anyone that you know you want to find that's, that you haven't like actually played with and you haven't added to the Steam, you know. Um, so the basic program is called MRC. It's just it's a free program that you can use to access the, the IRC network, which is I think Internet Relay Chat. Um, so you just you just Google that, and download it, MRC. There are also other scripts you can um, get that have additional. Um, options and just other stuff built in, customized stuff, um, so you can get those too, but I'm not going to go over that. Um, if you have a friend that uses one of those, you can just ask them about it. Um, I'm just going to go over the basic, the basic one with you, I'm going to show you how to set it up. Um, 